think it's worth the look. It kind of seems familiar, like a story from a book. Shake a leg now, wishbone. Let's wag another tail. Sniffing out adventure with wishbone on the trail. Come on, wishbone. What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? What's the story, Wishbone? Hey, come on, come on! Hey, take it easy, Wishbone. Take it easy. We're in the library. Just look at all these books, all these stories. Did you believe? Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, Joe. Hi, guys. What brings you here? A leash, Ellen. How'd you get here? We're doing a report on the history of rock and roll for music class. What's going on? Well, look. Hey, that's you. Cool. It's in the latest library monthly. We didn't even know it was in here. What's it about? Oh, it's about the reference catalog I've been computerizing. And a lot of libraries want to use it, so I'm... A star. Well... <laughs> <laughs> that's great, Mom. Thanks. Uh... Joe, you know dogs aren't allowed in the library. Mm-hmm. And they wonder why so few of us read. It's supposed to rain, Mom. I had to bring them in. All right. Just keep them in control. Why don't you go over to the music section? I'll be there to help you in just a minute. Thanks, Mom. Okay. Thanks, Mrs. Talbot. Um, can I have your autograph? <laughs> Come on, David. <laughs> A mold. Ugh. Nothing over there. Any luck over here? No, we'll have to wait till my mom helps us find it. Yeah, she has any time for us now that she's a big star. May I help your kids find something? You look like you're searching for something. Well, we're doing a report on the history of rock and roll. Well, you've come to the right place. Here you are. 22 books. Make sure you read a book or two about blues and country music. Every history has its history, too. Uh, thanks, Mr. Newson. I'm Mr. Newson, the reference librarian. Well, he seemed pretty nice. Oh, yeah. In a nice, creepy kind of way. But that's weird. He can't be the reference librarian. Why not? He seemed to know exactly where the books were. Yeah, but there's only one reference librarian here, and that's my mom. Hmm. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Let's go find him. Hello? How could that be? He just disappeared. The library's haunted by a nice old man who reads a lot. Could be worse. It could be like The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston LaRue, published in 1911. It all takes place at the Grand Opera House in Paris in the 1870s. The Phantom, or Ghost, was a big opera fan. For years, the opera management knew about the opera ghost, and they kept him happy by paying him a monthly salary and always reserving box number five for him. But when a new manager took over the theater, he didn't believe the old ghost stories, so he stopped paying the money and he sold seats in the ghost's private box. As you can imagine, those people who believed in the Phantom knew it was just a matter of time before he took his revenge. 
And that dashingly handsome young man is none other than the Viscount Raoul de Chagny. My goodness. Brother, who is that? That, dear brother, is Christine Daye, a new singer with the company. Beware, she speaks to no one and keeps to herself. No problem. I hate all that chit-chat stuff anyway. doesn't sound so great to me, brother. Something's wrong here. was Mr. Newton? Yes, Mom, that's what he said. Well, that's just not possible. Why not? Well, Mr. Ezra Newton was the reference librarian at the Oakdale Library over ten years ago. He's the man who invented the cataloging system I was telling you about. The one you're putting on the computer? That's the one. That's his system updated. Maybe he stopped by to congratulate you. Yeah, now that you're famous and all. No, he retired years ago and then he moved to Florida. So he's back for a visit. Why do you keep saying that it couldn't be him? Yeah, give us one good reason. Joe, Ezra Newton is dead. That's a good reason. His wife sent a letter to the library a couple of weeks ago. I even sent her a card myself. So who was the man in the library? Well, someone must have been playing a trick on you. And one of Mr. Newton's index volumes was missing today, too. It must be some kind of a practical joke. Mom, he seemed pretty serious. Ah, here it is. Okay, kids, have a look at the real Mr. Newton. Mom, that's him. Are you sure? Well, that can't be. Hello? Maybe it was his ghost. Come on, there's got to be some logical explanation for all of this. Hmm, he's not alive, but today he was very helpful. Oh, yeah, that's reasonable. Okay, I'll be right there. That was the library. They said something strange happened, and they want me to come over immediately. Let's go. Uh, hey, Wishbone, want to come along? Okay, sure. There's a mystery to investigate, and I'm the dog to do it! Ha-ha! <laughs> if there was one mystery that the young Viscount Raoul de Chagny was excited to investigate, it was the mystery of the beautiful new singer, Christine Gaillet. He just had to see her up close, which is what brought him to her dressing room the very next evening. <clears throat> Miss Daae? <laughs> ah, she's practicing. That's good. No, no, breathe. Again. <laughs> she's even got a music teacher. That's so nice. Excellent. You are as talented as you are beautiful, my dear, dear Christine. 
he's in love with her. That's so terrible. Um, hello? Yoo-hoo! Sorry to interrupt. Monsieur, what is the meaning of this? Wait, you're alone? I could have sworn there was someone else here. Someone else? Uh, no, monsieur, just me. Do I know you? Um, I don't think so, now that you mention it. Uh, that scarf. Where did you get it? I've had it since I was a child. Why? And did you ever lose it when you were a little girl? <laughs> Once. I lost it at the beach in the waves, but a little boy... Ran into the waves and... And saved my scarf. Yes! It's you, Raoul. I always dreamed that we'd meet again. Me too. You look great. It's taller, but great. I can't believe it's you. Believe it. Come on, give us a hug. N no, we mustn't. What? Why mustn't we? Oh, Raoul. Dear Raoul, I must confess. My music teacher is none other than the opera ghost. <gasps> the phantom? Yes. Oh, I, I wish he were not so jealous, but he is, monsieur. Very, very jealous. And that is why we must not see each other again. Uh, what? Please, monsieur. It is the only way. I, I do this for your safety. Please go but i if you truly love me go this isn't the end of us christine marion said i'd see it right away whatever it is oh no well what's wrong remember i told you that volume one of the index was missing this morning well, now volume two is gone. That's Mr. Knudsen's index, right? That's right. And I haven't even put volumes four, five, and six on the computer yet. I'm glad Marion called. Mom, I don't think that's why she called you. What do you mean? Look. Give back what you have stolen. Abandon the project now. Well, who could have done this? Well, you know it wasn't a dog. We are not allowed in here. Well, whoever it is, they'll be coming back. Well, how do you know? I mean, why didn't they steal all those books? That would stop your project. Well, they probably couldn't carry them all at once. So they'll be back. Well, whoever it is, they must have a key to the library. Or else, Marion would have seen them leaving the front door with the book. Unless they don't use doors. <laughs> David, stop! Well, you know, I'm not gonna let myself be intimidated by this person. What are you gonna do? Well, I guess I'll have Marion watch my desk for the rest of the day, and then when the library closes, I'll guard the books all night. I'll stay here with you. Me too. And me. Count me in. I love slumber parties. Who's bringing the snacks? Well, that's really nice of you kids, but... Mom, we're not going to leave you here all alone. Well, I guess I can use all the help I can get. <laughs> 